sink in one, two, three. Okay. Hey guys, it's Jake. Welcome back to another video. Everything is gone. This is my old room. I recently moved to LA, so I'm visiting my parents for the weekend. So as shown by the video title, a certain clothing blank vendor has seen my YouTube channel and liked the way that I format my reviews and the way I talk about the clothing in my videos. So they sent me a care package with one of everything that they offer in their store. So this company is called Made Blanks. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe not. I've been using them for about three, four months-ish for my Sieg's clothing, like my one-of-one -one stuff and my bulk production stuff. This is even before they contacted me, so there wasn't any like paid promotion. Until today, this is my first sponsorship, which is pretty cool. So they sent me a care package with one of everything that they offer on their website. So I'm gonna be reviewing all of that today. So thank you Made Blanks for reaching out and liking my videos and I hope you like this video. And thank you to Embellished for allowing me to film inside your studio today. It is so much better than this tiny yellow room. So thank you. First is the major t-shirt. It doesn't feel as heavy as the luxury tees in the market, but it's not thin by any means. It's a tad bit heavier than the All Style 1301, which is a six ounce shirt that's popular in the streetwear scene. It feels and fits like a standard tee you'd expect from a streetwear brand. The shirt is 185 GSM or about 6.5 ounces, so a tiny bit heavier than the standard weights of a shirt on the market. The material makeup of this shirt is 100% organic jersey cotton. It's super breathable and doesn't feel stiff on my skin. Here I'm wearing a size XL. The major tee is fairly true to size. Maybe it's a little oversized, but sizing varies from vendor to vendor. The collar isn't too tight like Ellie Apparel's tees, but it's not the loosest on the market. It really is just a nice standard fit. This shirt is $7 wholesale, which is pricier than the cheaper alternatives on the market like the All Style 1301 or the AS Color Staple tee, but it depends on what you want in a t-shirt. If you want higher quality, check out the major tee or the Ellie Apparel tees. If affordability is your thing, then try the All Style 1301. The major tee only comes in black and white, just basic neutrals. Next are the gym class shorts. I like these shorts because they aren't sweat shorts, although Made does offer those too. Sweat shorts promote swamp ass, and this lighter jersey cotton is much more affordable. These shorts are 200 GSM or 7 ounces and 100% organic jersey cotton. These feel very flowy on you and not too cumbersome like other sweat shorts on the market. These aren't sweat shorts, but a majority of the shorts on the market are sweat shorts like the AS Color or Independent Trading Co. They almost feel like a thicker shirt material, so that gives you some idea what they feel like. Here I'm wearing a size large, but they are a bit oversized on me, so I'm probably a size medium in these. It's hard to really assess how they realistically fit since these are a size up, but I can assume how they would fit probably a little bit above the knee in a medium which is my personal preference for shorts. These shorts are $14 wholesale, which can be seen as a pricier side for shorts, but this is how I look at it. I prefer jersey cotton material over cotton fleece, and the only other vendor to provide that is LA Apparel, so it's super nice to have another alternative on the market. And these shorts are a bit cheaper than LA Apparel too, by a couple dollars. These shorts are available in black and ready to dye white. Ready to dye just means the garments have already been washed and treated to be color dyed, but they also count as the color white. Kind of weird that they don't just have a color white, but the ready to dye variant works just fine. Next are the Varsity sweatpants. These have been my favorite sweats even before I received this care package. They're affordable and super high quality. They also have a hidden zipper pocket in the left pocket. I highly recommend. These sweats are 400 GSM or about 14 ounces and are 80% cotton and 20% polyester fleece. These are super heavyweight and thick as shit, comparable to Ellie Apparel Sweatch, which used to be my favorite, but these are way more affordable and they're all I use now. Here I'm wearing a size large and they fit me pretty well with the slight stacking of the fabric at the ankle. You can squat in these, skip steps on stairs, these pants are very flexible. Perfect gym sweats too. These sweats are $17 wholesale, which is a fantastic price. The next comparable sweats are from Ellie Apparel, which seems to be a theme in this video, and those are like $24 to $27, I don't remember, but these feel almost the exact same and are way cheaper. There's other sweats like Rue Porter and Velour Garments, but those are French Terry, which is a different category of material, and are also like $30 each or something. So it really depends on your pricing model and what works for you, but these are pretty good. These sweats come in black, ash gray, and white, so standard neutrals. Next are the recessed sweatpants. Little variation of the varsity sweats, except these have a draw cord enclosure at the bottom of the pants. These sweats are 450 GSM or about 16 ounces 
and are made of 100% organic cotton. These are noticeably thicker than the Varsity Sweats and are incredibly soft. I do like the Varsity Sweats more because they're so damn affordable. The quality on these is better than many competitors. Here I'm wearing a size large. Fit is really nice, very roomy at the ankles, and I like how they hang over the shoes. These sweats are $25 wholesale. For sweatpants of this quality, these really are the cheapest ones in the market. LA Apparels is a few dollars more and weigh 14 ounces, opposed to the recesses, 16 ounces, and $25. $25 is still getting into the pricier end, but all the other sweats cheaper than this are decent or mid-level, like AS Color Sweats or Independent Trading Co. Sweats. These sweats are available in black and ash gray only. It's kind of weird that they don't have a white color, but whatever. Next is the Varsity Hoodie. I've used this hoodie many times for my one of ones and my bulk productions, and it's my go-to blank. Quality, fit, and price are all great. This hoodie is 400 GSM, or about 14 ounces, and is made of 80% cotton and 20% polyester fleece. It's very heavy and very thick. Definitely better than most of the cotton fleece blanks out there. Here I'm wearing a size XL. I like my hoodies a bit baggy, so this fit is perfect for me. My only complaint is that some of the hoodies you get will have that little point on the top back of the hood when you put it up all the way, just by own observation, and it's not in all of the hoodies that you'll get from them. This hoodie is $20 wholesale. LA Apparel also has a 14 ounce hoodie for like $27 or something, but this Varsity hoodie is just as good and way cheaper. Definitely try this hoodie out to see the quality for yourself. This hoodie comes in black, ash gray, and white. Next is the Recess hoodie. This silhouette fits more into the streetwear vibe with the no drawstrings look. This hoodie is 450 GSM, or about 16 ounces, and is warm as shit. You can really feel the weight when wearing this. The exterior and interior feel super soft. It's definitely the highest quality cotton fleece blank I've ever felt. Here I'm wearing a size XL. It looks like the fit is a bit larger or more oversized than the Varsity hoodie, but it still works as an oversized piece. This hoodie is $25 wholesale, so $5 more than the Varsity for a little bit thicker of a material and no drawstrings, which some people prefer for a streetwear look. This hoodie comes in black and ash gray colors only. Next is the Varsity crew neck. I've never really used sweaters in my previous drops, but this would be my go-to if I did. This hoodie is 400 GSM or about 14 ounces and is 80% cotton and 20% polyester fleece. They feel pretty heavy for their price point. The only sweaters I've felt are the LA Apparel 14 ounce sweater and the Independent Trading Co. 15 ounce sweater. So the Varsity feels a little lighter than those but still has a more appealing price. Here I'm wearing a size XL and it fits pretty standard to the other sweaters I've tried. Maybe a little on the oversized cut but still looks normal to me. Nothing unique. This sweater is $18 wholesale, so it's pretty damn cheap compared to the other competitors. LA Apparel sweaters are like $24 to $30, I believe. And independent Trading Co. sweaters can range from $20 to $30. So if you want to sacrifice a tiny bit less of weight and quality, this Varsity sweater is an easy choice. This sweater only comes in black and ash gray. Next is the Body Bag Full Zip hoodie. I believe Made is the only wholesale vendor that sells a blank full zip. And I know this type of garment is pretty sought after for specific clothing drops. This hoodie is 400 GSM or about 14 ounces and is 80% cotton and 20% recycled polyester fleece. This hoodie feels just like the Varsity hoodie, but instead with a full zip enclosure. That's an easy way to compare them. This fit is pretty standard too, similar to the Varsity hoodie, aside from the extra room at the top of the hood when it's fully zipped up, which practically all full zip hoodies experience. It needs room to fit all types of faces. This hoodie is $27 wholesale, which does seem a little high to me, but it does make sense knowing the extra labor involved in making the full zip hoodie, as well as the added value of being one of the few vendors that actually sells a full zip hoodie. This hoodie only comes in black. And that's the Made Blanks catalog. Like I said earlier, I've been using Made Blanks before they sponsored me. I use them all the time. The pieces are heavyweight, affordable, and maintain the typical sizing you'd see for a streetwear brand. Also, getting a wholesale account with them is pretty straightforward. You can watch my video on how to get a wholesale account for more clarity. There's also no minimum order quantity, so you can literally order just one item to see the quality for yourself before committing to a larger order. And thanks for watching, and check out my Instagram. I make some cool stuff. Links are in the description.